Okay, what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to show you all how to make a bow string. If uh, this little old bow here is about a 20 pound pull bow, I'm going to use artificial sunu. This is the 70, means it's got 70 pound strength uh, per strand. You want it to be several times stronger than the pull weight of the bow because of the sudden stop when you shoot the bow. I will. I use artificial sunu when I am uh, doing a uh, uh, real light bow, but anything over about 40 pounds, I use B50 bowstring. And what I'm going to do here, and this is just a quick, easy way to do it, I'm going to come out past the bow about six or eight inches. I'm going to stretch this string then along the bow, and I'm going to come out on the other side, also about six or eight inches. And then from there, I'm going to fold this right here, roll it where I don't lose. The, and I'm going to make uh, three of equal length. Okay. I'm going to come to here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bend this where I've got three of equal length. Just like this. Okay. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to clip this off. Now, I'm going to actually use six of these. So, three will be woven, and it'll be woven uh, just like I would do for making uh, uh, natural cordage. And so, I've got these three together now. So, I'm going to come back and I can use this for measuring this. And when I get here, this one I'll throw up out of the way. I don't need it anymore. Because I'm going to do a perfect bend right here. And I'm going to do three more. Okay. And I'm going to make what will be called a Flemish bowstring. And I'm going to fold this one just like I did the other side. And I'm going to come back. And this now is going to make three for this side. Okay. Now when I do the wrap here, I don't want them to all come out at the exact same position. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to offset this. Oh, half an inch or so. Like this. Where they don't all come out exactly the same. And I'll just take my finger and run down this. That'll also change it on the other end. Same way. I'm going to lay this one up here, take this one here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to offset them about a half an inch to an inch from each other. So when they come out on the bowstring, it don't just make a huge drop all at the same time. Okay? And notice I made these about six or eight inches longer than the bow on each end. And so what I'm going to do here... I'm going to put these even about like so, and I'm going to come back about that six or eight inches, and I'm going to twist just like I would if I was doing cordage. And I'm going to twist away and wrap, and if Jeannie's getting my hand, she'll see what I'm doing here. And I've got to make this long enough here to, uh, to go around the, the uh, knock points on the bow. Okay, and that should be just about right, right there. So I'm going to bring this back right here. And I'm going to separate these. I'm going to twist that one. I'm going to twist this one. And I'm going to do the same thing I was just doing a moment ago. Of twist and roll. Keep them separated. Twist and roll. It's getting pretty late, so I hope you all can see what I'm doing. And again, I don't want to get these tangled. Twist and roll. I'm going to come back all the way to the end here, and I may have actually uh, went a little bit too far back here, but we'll make it work no matter what, even if I have to take this end loose and redo it. Now, when you twist and roll like this, the harder you pull on these, the tighter it gets, so you're not going to have to worry about them pulling loose. 
Okay. Now I'm past all of the cutoffs here. Okay. So now that I'm past all of the cutoffs, I don't really have to worry too much about it. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to put that up there like so. And I'm going to come to right about here. Same thing as I did on the other side. I'm going to come up here to about in here somewhere. See if that, what that looks like on there. That's just about right. So I'm going to come up here about like this. Twist and roll. Just like if I was doing actual cordage instead of regular strings. Like if I was using the inner bark off of a hickory. Okay. This one I want to make a little bit larger because I want this one to slide up and down the bow. Okay. So I'm going to go a little bit further with this end. Not a lot, but a little. Okay. I've got... Yeah, that's probably about right, right there. Okay. I'm going to separate this. I'm going to bring that one to there. This one to here. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it. Set that like so. Twist and roll. Twist and roll. Now, since they're tied together on the other end now, I've just got to make sure that I don't tighten a knot about halfway down. Twist and roll. Twist and roll. Again, run my finger down it. Twist and roll, twist and roll. And I'm gonna go again to the end of the string here. Okay. And this is the ends that I cut off, but I'm going to the end of. And this is a waxed artificial sunu. And so we're doing our twist and roll all the way down through here. Once I'm past the end of them, I can stop and I can put this now on the bow. Okay, just like this. And I'm going to hook that for this minute. And I almost come exactly the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide this one down, say to about four inches down. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to roll the whole string now in the direction that will tighten it the way I did the ends. Just like this. And I'm measuring here because when I get it to this point, and what I will say is make the bow a little bit tight originally, this string will. And as you see, as I'm twisting this, I'm coming up to this. I'm already now four inches short down there. So I'm going to go ahead and twist this a little bit more. Notice here I'm going further down the bow all the time. Now this here would be down to about here. And I want this a little bit tight because it's going to stretch. And I'll leave this bow strung. Notice I'm about an inch and a half down there now. And so I'm going to slide that up there down a little further, bring this in, put it on, come right back up here now, and I'm going to string the bow. This is a little bit high string height, but that's what I want because it's going to stretch. The little end's coming out right here. I can just take a pair of nippers. Be sure you only get the end sticking out. Don't cut your th string. If this is not waxed string, be sure and buy you some string wax. And then just slide your hands right down that. Notice this is already almost pulled down to the correct string height. And I will probably have to twist it a few more times to get the string at the level I want it to go to. Okay? Uh, if you follow what I just showed you here to do, you can actually make one of these bow strings. I spent maybe three or four minutes on that bow string. Okay? 
I'm going to take this arrow here and I'm going to try this string out. Go ahead and turn it this way. I'm going to give it a try, see how it's going to shoot. Does real well. Okay? And that's how easy it is to make a bowstring. Notice it's just about touching my thumb now. It's stretched to the right uh, length right now. I do expect it, I'll leave it this way for probably an hour. And I do expect it to stretch further. And when it does, I'll just twist it a little more and give it what I want. Okay? And that's all there is to making a bowstring for these lightweight bows. So, happy bow ma uh, string making.